Welcome back to the video series of the Survival Triangle. This will be our second time around the triangle. And today's video will be on water, part two. Another great source of water is these emergency drinking water pouches. This particular brand is from Daytrex. It has an expiration date of August 2013 and it contains about 4.2 fluid ounces of water. Now depending on how you store these pouches, the water can actually go quite a bit longer than the expiration date. Uh, in our particular case, it's stored in a basement that's about a constant 60 degrees. So we'll get about another five years out of these water pouches. And in fact, they are made out of mylar. Well, Zion, I'm very fortunate. Even though I do live in the city, I do have a well in my yard, the one that I use for my garden. Our water level is right at the surface, eight to 10 feet. So I've purchased this pump from Harbor Freight for $29.95. It's cast iron, very good pump for the price. I will integrate this into my well system. In the event that the power goes out, I'll be able to pump fresh water from my well. A renewable source of water is rain. In this case, you can capture the rain into 55 gallon barrels called rain barrels. The water then can be used for any purpose provided that it's filtered and purified in the proper manner. In this rain barrel configuration, we simply place the water from the gutter into the, directly into the barrel and we can get about 55 gallons out, out of this which we can use at any time. Having a well system as my secondary water system is great but it does run off of electricity. Now with a generator, I still could just fire up the generator, flip the switch, and I would have fresh water. And this water would be excellent for my gardening and any other water needs that I would have. In any SHTF or Teotihuacan situation, never forget your water heater as a source of water. The water's potable, clean, and it's ready for consumption. The main point of this video is redundancy. Having several different sources of water, ways to gather water, and ways to store it. Whether it be in a single barrel or a multi-barrel system small containers, large containers, or just from a stream. Our next time around the triangle with water, we will talk about filtration and purification.